So the reason I hadn't uploaded a video for quite a while was that I have been quite busy catching up with some shows, some classic hip hop albums, some animated shows, discovering some new songs or gems as well that were oh my God. Yeah. Anyways, today we'll discuss some underrated shows that you seriously, seriously need to check it out. What we do in shadows. A documentary crew follows three vampires, Nandor the Relentless, Laszlo and Nadia, as well as an emotional vampire Colin Robinson, as they struggle to keep up with current times and their role and responsibility as a vampire, as they reside in an apartment in New York. Along with their sweet and guache, I mean gullible, familiar Guillermo, whose lifelong but an unachievable dream is to become a vampire. With each episode spent dealing with problems including centuries old nemesis, modern technology, noisy neighbor, world face off, an extremely unlucky hat made from the witch's rectum. And last but not least, plethora of awesome cameos from the likes of Tilda Swinton to Wesley Snipes. Yes, Wesley freaking Snipes. Like most of the FX shows, it is a hidden gem worth exploring. Man Seeking Woman Based on the book Last Call Friend on Earth, which is quite hilarious by the way, Man Seeking Woman mainly focuses on Joss Greenberg, who after the breakup with his longtime girlfriend Maggie, goes on an epic adventure of searching for the next love of his life. With help from his douchebag but always supporting best friend Mike, mature and successful sister who later on sleeps with Santa by the way and that too adultery and extremely caring to borderline stalker parents. Man Seeking Woman is a show full of gag humor with daily and normal emotions faced by a person heightened to surreal level with likes of tentacle Japanese penis monster drug addict cupid with new mixtape drop just now President personally calling to congratulate for getting a girl's number. Nymphomaniac blind aliens crossing time and space to bang Joss and lots more. I would highly, highly recommend this show. It's a very fun treat. People of Earth People of Earth as the name suggests is about people of Earth. Such a bad joke. Mainly Ozzy, a journalist who is forced by his boss to follow up on a group called Starcrust who believe that they have been abducted by aliens or had special alien encounters from getting abducted to getting probed to banging to light conversation I guess. But as Ozzy delves deeper into the matter he begins to unravel some hidden memories of his own about his own alien encounter with the conspiracy including a worldwide takeover by aliens with the help of a very highly sarcastic grey alien, elf like beautiful but dumb as wood white alien, yeah I know, and extremely angry repti reptilians who keep on screwing up their respective responsibilities. With a very fresh and fun first season and even better second season with a twist at the end, they even have Toby and Oscar from The Office Man. You have to check it out. And finally, you'll get the answer why Toby is Toby. Mick Mafia Mick Mafia is a British crime drama focusing on Alex, a legitimate businessman who is actually the heir of a Russian Mafia family separated from them for his own safety, mainly to evade his family's dark past that they are Mafia and they need vodka. No, I mean, they are just Mafia. But as fate would have it, he gets sucked into the seductive world of Mafia after a murder exposes his family's truth. With each decision he takes for sake of protection of his father and his family. 
he ends up getting more and more entangled with the world of mafia as well as a revenge story and the decision he takes keeps on blowing up on his face all round brilliant performances from the whole cast including the appearance from Nawazuddin Siddiqui himself the show is quite fast paced and addictive with excellent world building so don't worry you'll end up binging it mind hunter the story of mind hunter revolves around fbi agents holden ford wide eyed eager and a serial killer enthusiast i mean who isn't right right and bill tens an aged grumpy old veteran with a happy married life who run the behavioral science unit at the fbi academy in quantico later on later getting assist from psychologist Wendy Carr who along with them interview imprisoned serial killers to understand how they think and how they operate with the hope of applying this knowledge to solving ongoing cases as well as solving few murders along the way with stellar performance from the whole cast but the prime victim of high praise here is serial killer casting like perfect casting of Ed Kemper to Charles Manson himself let's just say that casting director nailed it with perfect pacing very compelling premise each episode leaves you craving for the next one and the next thing you know you end up binging the whole freaking show be aware end of the fucking world End of the fucking world revolves around James, a 17-year-old boy who aspires to kill a person someday and trains to do so by killing animals with his trusty hunting knife. And as fate would have it, he runs into Alyssa, a mouthy rebellious classmate who believes herself to be more mature than she is with issues of her own, serving herself on a platter to James as she proposes they run away together, hoping for an adventure away from her disgusting stepfather. And James naturally agrees with the with the intention of finding an opportunity to, to kill her by slitting her throat and on their journey they run into pedophile serial killer psychopath murder and a healthy dose of self realization so that's it for today thank you for watching and if you have any suggestions or if you want my views or opinion on anything please leave it down in the comment section below do take care of yourself and have a nice day sayonara